Hello, oh, everyone. he's here. <laughs> Jesus, here. I was just talking smack about you. I was just uh -huh. talking mad hype about you, yo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Welcome. This is incredible. Welcome. Almost on time. Welcome. <laughs> in yeah, Utah, it is illegal to swear in front of a dead person. What? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, I can't believe my wife is in dead! What? Handcuffs? <laughs> like seriously, like you're at a murder you're at a murder scene, like your significant other family member, someone fucking killed him, someone fucking killed him. The police start handcuffing you? That's stupid! <laughs> Here's the thing is like that that's that's not enforceable. The cops curse more than anybody, just as much as anybody. Yeah, someone fucking stabbed this person. Ah, that's it, James, you're going to prison. <laughs> that is so dumb. Let him yell into the darkness by himself. Or with his own little fan. He's, he's not. He's not leaving into the darkness. He's not riding into the sunset. He is opening doors to allow this to happen. <laughs> Because he no, said, is not let go. I said, let him, let him yell into the darkness. Oh, okay. Same, same, same thing. Honestly, <laughs> he he don't want to yell into the darkness though. He don't yeah, want to yeah, do he that. He wants people to hear him. This, yeah. he wants this. He wants this. No, he doesn't want this. <laughs> I I don't think he wants Sonic Four, yo. Hey, you, you don't, don't know. you don't know him. You know what he's into. <laughs> Like what you like. No, I'm sorry. Most Trump of the time. Is into <laughs> voluptuous 3D blonde bimbo, sir. Thank you very much. Missionary position while the YMCA is playing in the background. <laughs> and he's just a pump into the beat. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> what do you say about Minnesota, huh? that you're gonna see a moose and everybody claps when it happens and that's your week you don't have to be truthful <laughs> <laughs> you can lie oh man i mean you're not even in the cheese place <laughs> so you can't even enjoy like a lot of cheese minnesota um north shore scenic drive um, wow driving minneapolis <laughs> Is there wheat of art <laughs> wow art is <laughs> there wheat <laughs> pretty good zoo Pretty uh, good zoo. <laughs> um, this is the well, state, the, not a city. The state for the scenic drive. <laughs> you went back to the drive. <laughs> Mountains, cliffs, beaches, <laughs> forests, lighthouse, waterfalls. No mention of weed, unfortunately. So that takes it down well, a little bit. Uh, it's ruined now. Cool. A nature center, which is basically a zoo. An art museum. There was already an art museum. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> wow. Leaf Erickson Park and Rose Garden. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. The Mall of America is in the city that they host it. Okay, that's a that's a what? Two hour trip? Three hour? I, I, we're just listing things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how you make a weekend out of the state of Minnesota. Oh, no. Minnesota North American Bear Center. There you go. Hey, hold up. Oh. What the f is a bear center? Hey, you can see a lot of bears. I'd be down to see some bears. It's, it's a center that has bears. Of course. Is a unique bear and wildlife educational facility. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's what the bears eat. Oh, thanks. You just made bears less cool. Hey, a science museum. I love science. I would go to something like that. <laughs> Legit, like, four... I'm, I, there's like five things a museum. <laughs> and then there's stuff like Minnesota History Center, which is basically a museum. You know, you know what this list sounds a lot like? The Ohio list terrible. that we read. <laughs> Dude, it's a lot like it. This is awful. This is terrible. The hypocrisy of 
people with the Confederate statues that are like, don't erase my history. But then as soon as you start talking about uh, critical race theory, erase that history though. <laughs> Not that one. Don't teach that history. <laughs> that was what Trump was doing. Like, hey, yo, stop the count. But let us count over there. <laughs> stop the count in Michigan and Pennsylvania and all the places where I might lose if y'all keep counting. But the ones where I'm behind, like in Arizona, we keep need to counting. get them numbers up. Count them up. <laughs> Look, you can't have it both ways like that. Yes, I can. And yes, he did. <laughs> but I bet you if you looked at like Europe, you would see like 70%, 80%. I don't know, honestly, because the vaccine manufacturers that have made the vaccine are here. See, that's the saddest point. There are people over in other places that want that vaccine and just have no access to it. The numbers would be even higher for them if they just could get it. Whereas we are in abundance. They're literally like, hey, moonwalk in here and get your vaccine, yo. Yeah, they were talking about going door to door, just like, hey, yo, we sticking people. <laughs> <laughs> Show your car and get stuck. SWAT team comes in, jabs you in the arm, <laughs> leaves. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> Mission successful. Moving out. On to next target. We got three back to back to back I, in Yoma. My God, robbed. we were killing it. I was robbed. Robbed. Mm. Robbed. <laughs> I was going to bring it up. I was mm. going to bring it up. Oh, my robbed. God. It was so bad. <laughs> Nat even told us this. Mm. If it had not been for a single said. vote for the bias of that my little pony bullshit it had no reason to win it I, was I don't care what she turn. said it was mine i don't and care what she said bullshit. i care what i care the award that was given out and at the uh -huh. end of the day who cares who cares who cares who went to the nba finals versus the champion you know what i'm saying uh-huh uh -huh. I, I mean, hey, anybody, my, you who, pandering who, who was in the finals in the 2012 <laughs> NBA Finals? Do they list? Do they list okay, the second then. place MVP Upstick. person? Yeah, no, they don't. No, it's not like, <laughs> hey, Aaron Rodgers, you were the MVP, but uh, Brady, you did real good too. And if not I for Rodgers being no so spectacular, YouTube had you probably would have won. But unfortunately, Rodgers was just too good. I did so something you that didn't that. even exist on Amen. the internet, and I did it well, but it hadn't been Darn. for the pandering bullshit that I had to go up against. It should have been mine. So no, I don't Boy. give that to you, and I never will. No, but he, you don't have to give anything to me. I won something absent of you. Okay. Something was definitely given it to him. Best in show black. Oh my uh -huh. God. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what's the holiday? Let's go through the holidays that we want. Arbor Day. Oh, oh what oh, that we want? Boy. Yeah, that that we're shaving off. This and is happening. Let's just say, <laughs> three years from now, these are our holidays right now. Okay. Uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Honestly, take off New uh, Year's Day and you, just make it New Year's Eve. Um, you, I'm combining them too. Okay. Um, we could keep New we, Year's. We could we keep the wacky fake ones like Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. Yeah, understand you keep those. Me. Those are fine. Y'all aren't real. I just want y'all to know. Lighting candles. Come on, y'all know what y'all are. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we down to four. PG, uh, one what one I'm you oh yeah, uh, we, we need vet, uh, veterans memorials. Those are those stay. Okay. Uh, we, we Let's got get rid sick. of Arbor and Labor then. Arbor and Labor are gone. Okay, how about this? Let's combine Valentine's and Swedish Day to like a late February, early March time frame. <laughs> I'll accept that. We don't need Easter. Yeah, get rid of Easter. Easter is dumb. It makes no sense when you think about it for half a second. Easter's out. We're, we got seven. Anybody else want to keep anything? All right, cool. Thought yeah, not. July 4th right. can go. Juneteenth can go. Sorry. <laughs> Black Remembrance Week. I, We're in I there. That no means Martin Luther King going, Rosa Parks is going, all that shit is going. President's, President's Day, Day is going. Out of here. I know um, y'all hate y'all furniture sales are gone, but they'll do it another that? day.
everyone, and welcome back to the Podcast of Stuff, episode 240. Amber, I like the little dance emote. <laughs> oh, no Ralph today? No, no Ralph. Rough, rough, e- rough going there. E-working. Rough waters. E-working. Which is fine. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. You sound tired. Eh, just relaxing all day. How did the b- Back for Blood go? Went pretty good. <laughs> Turns out you indeed were the weak link. <laughs> mm. I mean, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> we got or or was Brett so strong it helped carry everybody? I a little column A, a little column B. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Don't play with me. Um, <clears throat> Ralph still Ralphed. Um, How that, that that is always present. Um. What is up, V Man? Uh, yeah, Triton Hawakas. Everybody, hello. Um Oh yeah, I mean and of course there there was even more moments where Ralph tried to talk hot shit and then uh what's up, Gavin? And you know <laughs> Don't so, talk smack and I, then get smacked. Dude, it's it's the DA thing, cause every time there's so many times where I'm talking and smash, it was just like, oh man, that almost hit me. And then as I'm saying the sentence, I'm flying away. It's like, well, I, I should have just waited another second for it to <laughs> actually happen. Yo, that was a good dodge, Dad. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. So Actually, there's one thing I've been wanting to talk about, but now I think it's now is an appropriate time. Um, there's so much good music that has come out recently. Like a bunch of bands just released albums within the last like three weeks. Um, oh, give them to me because uh, I have work playlists and I need albums. So the one that I'm just going to get out of the way because no one else here cares about it is Dream Theater. Boy, do you know when you said nobody else cares about it, my eyes were already rolling because I knew what you were about to say. What else could it be? And this is the first Dream Theater album I have liked since Portnoy left the band. I don't know what they were telling Mangini. I don't know what was going on, but this album, they finally just said, hey, like, do whatever you want. And the guy fucking killed it like the thing that i always think about when i picture like someone says like what do you think what do you think of this uh drummer for me it was like precision and like formulaic and like just very 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 precise and like and just there's not a lot of frilliness it's very straightforward drumming good drumming but straightforward drumming um and in this album there's a lot of frilliness in his drumming and i really really liked it and then just on top of that, the rest of the songs are really good. Their singer, um, he really can't hit the high notes anymore. That's fine. I don't listen to Dream Theater for the singing. <laughs> but well, um, you need you you're it's it's amazing how your favorite band has inconsequential pieces to you. Seriously, I look yep. at a band for all the pieces. Yeah, like if a if a drummer leaves, I'm like, oh, it don't sound the same. If a guitarist leaves or whatever you're just like oh the singer don't matter yeah i would I've... never go to singer i can't listen to emma rosa anymore the singer's just not as good as craig and yeah. it's not even like a, a tillian thing where i can go okay i like i like the singer enough or uh in some aspects better than the original person and I, he, he's just not good so i don't <laughs> listen thing is with with dream theater and they're like you know 10 to 45 minute songs like James Labrie is a very 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 tiny part of it like I, I listen for the guitar I listen for the bass I listen for the keyboards I listen for especially for the drums and Labrie has been there um and he, he has been the voice of Dream Theater for you know decades at this point so it would be weird if he left the band and like they got a new singer but <clears throat> he's not the reason I listen to them at all and just the guy has a been singing for so long, and b like, like ten to fifteen years ago, he uh, ruptured his vocal cords. So then he could, his voice was never the same since then. And just now at this point, I feel like he's just like, I'm not gonna even try to hit these high notes just to preserve my voice for as long as friggin' possible, <laughs> which is understandable. I mean, just give up the ghost at that point. 
I don't know. But yeah, this album, easily their best album in the last decade. By far. Not for you. What's the um, other stuff? Um, we got um I haven't listened to it completely, but Star Set has a new album. And I've been liking it so far. Shrug shoulders. And then the one that I know you care about, Ice Nine Kills has their new album. Oh boy. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's uh I I am I was disappointingly underwhelmed by the child's play song. Ah, uh, really? Uh, I suck. really didn't like it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I, I, it's just not. I don't know what it is, but it's just not right. I like the Pet Cemetery. I love the Candyman, and there's like two others that I really love. I like the Resident Evil one. Um, the Resi was really good. Yeah, and I was curious because, like, obviously this is supposed to be you know horror film based, but like, mm -hmm. and there you know there was Resident Evil movies, and like if you watch the music video, it's very much based off of the first Resident Evil movie. Um, but yeah, they threw the a whole bunch really of game reference crap. is the only really reference is them saying like game over. There, there's a couple of other gaming uh, references too, like uh, something with the controller. Um, yeah, there, there's a few small stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually let me get the song list because I'm blanking on a few. Uh, I really like the uh, American Psycho one. I don't like I yeah. that the beginning monologue. I, <laughs> I that, that was I, pretty good. Um, the Welcome it. to Horrorwood or whatever it was called. That original song was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, um, oh, the Psycho one. The Psycho one. That was good. Like I said, there's only like two or three I love. I the child's play just it hurts, dude. I wanted it to be better. Silver Scream Two. So let's see, we got Opening Night, which is just a monologue. Welcome to Horrorwood. A rash decision, which is Cabin Fever. I liked that one. The, I love that song. The the uh the where they literally just like stop and then cut back in. Um, Assault and Batteries, which is Child's Play. The shower scene, which is Psycho. Funeral Derangement, which is Pet Cemetery. Rainy Day, which is Resident Evil. Hip to be scared, American Psycho, take your pick, my bloody Valentine. That one I wasn't like, it was eh. like yeah. from, from take your pick to like the next couple. Like I I do like uh the box, which is the Hellraiser one. I like the fly. What do you mean? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have to listen to it again. Worst vacation, like which is Hostel, Ex Mortis, yeah. which is Evil Dead, and then Farewell to Flesh, which is Candyman. That song is <laughs> tremendous. I've listened to it no less than 15 times. <laughs> yeah, I listened to like all of the ones that they released uh, as singles a bunch. And then The Box, um, Rash Decision, Funeral Derangements, and The Shower Scene. Those are the ones I've listened to the most. But yes, just... Continuing to make very, very, very good music and very, very good. Y'all recommend me albums. I am so serious. I have eight to nine hours a day to burn. Hey, this is Dream Theater album. <laughs> I it legit probably isn't even worth it, <laughs> but I will listen to it. I don't care. Oh wow! You don't know how much music I've listened to recently. Okay. Yeah, I got stuff. I, I would just like never do. Yeah, I haven't uh, gone out and found new stuff as of recently. Um, it's fun. Uh, you know, I know DA is giving up. He know he likes what he likes. Years and it's over. I want to every time I want to. It's like I can't find. Where, where do you go to Spotify? Just Spotify? Oh man, that's yeah. Illegal. Just like it just like put on a band that you like and then just let it autoplay. Or um, I'll go to illicit sites hey. and i wanted to know which one of those illicit sites i'll tell are. you off i'll tell you off straight okay, cool because pirate bay ain't doing it uh, I oh no why would stuff. you ever use that i did the same thing a, with a YouTube readily music. available one youtube what? music works the same as spotify where it's just if you put on a band it'll start playing similar stuff as well yeah i don't like that because it usually picks the most popular stuff and that stuff the most popular things usually aren't the best things for the band. Triton is I don't try food. 
That's you just thing. said it's been years for no, music. I, and I, then I immediately said I want to, okay. but then I can't because the illicit sites ain't giving me what I want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you said I that, just too, said I, just, I just had the image of like, <laughs> I don't know why, but it was just like a homeless dude. Or just like he experiences something for the first time that he hasn't in a while. It's just like, it's been years. <laughs> Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. So, as always, weekly reminder. Black Lives Matter. Stop Asian hate. Get your vaccine. Wear your damn masks. What? what what's the word on the boosters? Uh, I feel you like You can it's get got... it if... Um, it, it, for everything, Pfizer, M- Moderna. Moderna. Yeah, you can get you can get them if you're out there on the fields. Ah, if you're old, if you stuff. have a immune deficiency. Okay. I just yeah. wanted to know if you were supposed to get it. <laughs> I know. Um, I believe it's just like they're available, but like there is. If you don't feel like you are in like a, um. High octane or, risk area, high high risk group field. Uh, to not get it because then that prevents, um, a people who need it from getting it, as well as, um, <clears throat> uh, people out of the country. Like there's Dude. concern that we're taking shots away from folks that are outside of the country. Legit, there has to be an abundance in America. Oh yeah, sure. These people not getting it. What are they doing? <clears throat> but yes. Um, get your vaccine first before... Well, if you get a booster, you're just getting your vaccine shot. <laughs> I think it's still the same shot, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe reduced dosage, but I don't know. Um, all right. So, who here has watched the first episode of the Komi anime? Right here. Yeah. I didn't say anything because I didn't. What what are you doing? What are you doing, man? I mean, I like for things to build up. You're, you're especially so... for anime, weekly anime like that. Why what what am I gonna do watch one episode for? What's that doing for me? Nothing is the answer. You you get to see the amazingness of this first episode and then bask in the anticipation of the next. No. Marathon. Marathon. Like, if Child's Play was not coming on YouTube every week, I would wait for the season to end. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done until, like, episode five or six. Like, uh, uh, you know how much I was talking about Superman Lois. They stopped putting it on HBO Max, so I went, I stopped watching it. And then they uh, put it back on there. They, they did the first six episodes, and then were like, watch it on the CW. And I went, no, sir. <laughs> So the season's <laughs> over, and now they're putting the rest on there, and now I will watch it. That's uh, the way to do it. That, it, yeah, Netflix has killed us. <laughs> it's killed our uh, weekly consumption of things. I'm done with it. Twenty it's, minutes of content means nothing. Means literally nothing. It's there before you know. It. It's gone before you know it. It was amazing. It's one small. I thing. bet it was. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sure it is. But there's one thing, small thing I want to talk about, and that's why I watch Venom, and that boy is a hard one thirty. The second movie, yes, really, it is in and out. I wish I would have known. I would have watched this. I'm watching it. I'm like, things are moving a bit fast. Twenty minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> It was no fat. Bitch. Hey, we're Venom. Hey, interviewing uh, Cletus. Hey, he got Symbio. Hey, me and Venom broke up. Hey, me and Venom are back together. In fight. Done. I'm like, bro, oh my goodness. The whiplash. Hey, hot take here. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey. It's well, like, pretty it, it, it doubles good. down on the, on the like, the <laughs> on itself, right? Yeah, they knew what they were. It, it's a very odd movie because... Number one, it feels like it knows exactly what its strengths are, but it also feels like an obligation. And I only say that because of the post credit scene. Gotcha. It's like, we need to get these people to this point so that this thing can happen. Got a good couple laughs out of me. Uh, the end fight with 
uh, Carnage was really good. Oh, really? Mostly because you could actually tell him apart. It was a good. Did they location. make him uh, a little bit more red? Because even in the trailers, I was like, it's kind of muted. It's yeah. gonna be hard to tell. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then he's a lot slimmer and taller than Venom. Venom is a lot bulkier. Uh, it took place in a church, so it was just people going hit the bell, bing, and then they would both come out, and then they would fight, and then like one would re- reform before the other, and it's like, oh no, Carnage is here before Venom is back. The end fight was really good. Uh, yeah, it's, it was just like no faff. I'm like, well, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Because you know the standard for a superhero movie is two two ten nowadays, yeah. and this is just a hot flat one thirty. <clears throat> Blew you, me away. Do you feel like it could have benefited from another ten minutes? Yes, definitely. Okay, because they harp on the relationship between uh, Cletus and Eddie. And it's never like shown or established. Just like one or two lines of just like friends. Ah. Like maybe a flashback. Another ten minutes would have just been. It would have pushed it over from the flash back to the wig. Categ- <laughs> flashback. Yes. <to> the- <laughs> but yeah, it would have pushed it from the seven point five where it's at to you know, maybe in the eight categories with that. But yeah, it is legitimately solid. Got a good couple laughs out of it. Action was good. Only like one or two small complaints. It was good. Better than the first one. Watch it. All right. Good to know. You didn't like the end fight, Kevin? Really? There was a lot of moving parts. It was it was different because wow. you got they not, jangled the keys in front of your face and you went, "Wow, no, no. that's good." Because there was um, there was a, a chick. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Um, Cletus' whole motivation is just like I've got a girlfriend who's locked up over there, and she's basically Banshee. You know, I think she's in the comics. Her name is uh, Sh- uh, Shriek. Yep. You know, voice amplification, scream, ah, uh, sort of thing. I so know. you got her going there, and and she has the power to disrupt the symbiotes with the bell, with the um girlfriend. Ring of... it. Ring the bell. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was. I, I liked it. What can I say? Get in, get out. Hour right. thirty. Well, I want. I still want to talk about Comey. Um, one, just in general, animation, as we could tell from the trailers, very good. The comedy, amazing. Um, all the actors yeah. seem to be great in the role. Um, however, there is a. Uh, some controversy around this first episode, in particular with Netflix's subtitles. Uh, I didn't get any of the subtitles. <clears throat> Maybe yeah. that's the issue. <laughs> there was no like uh, overlay that showed the subtitles or anything. Huh? <laughs> so like, like, you still like when they talked though, there were still subtitles. Yeah, right? yeah, no, no, there were subs there. But what oh, I'm saying that, is, like, uh, when they were introducing Tadano and they have all that kanji next to him, there wasn't, like, a big, like, uh, opacity. That is the controversy. Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't see it. Oh, that's what they wanted? Yep. <clears throat> so, in the fan subs, if you go and look at the fan subs of Comey, they put overlay of English text above all of that stuff to explain all those different things. And then, on the chalkboard scene, they filled in like chalkboard English next to the uh ah, yeah okay Japanese so I saw comedy. it through that and so they're uh, mad that they didn't get that yeah the Netflix did not For do what? that because it's there's missing out. context okay are we gonna get a dub of call me there is no word on it yet positive or negative if they if we are that's probably where we're gonna get this but why not now couldn't tell you. This episode was released a week or two ago. The fan subbers did it. This is stuff that they're yeah, writing the on sub- the board. Fan subbers also do that karaoke shit opening. So are we expecting? Sure. No, them to but do that? this is stuff they're writing on the board. You you don't speak the language, so as she's writing stuff, you're just like, I don't know what the she's saying. Unless Tadano goes, oh, she's saying <laughs> this. Uh, he does yeah. a little bit, and then they also underwords go. Uh, this is the words they're saying is the word. There's some parts where it's just like they're saying a bunch of um like yeah it, it, small it, talky things yada yeah. yada stuff and they're not subtitling that. 
but the important thing they subtitled. Yeah, it's it's like the direct conversation. The the main thing that didn't they didn't subtitle was, was when they're both writing on the chalkboard and then they fill in the, like the entire chalkboard. That part is not uh, subtitled. Well, I'm glad I popped in at this point. Oh wow, you are actually here. I thought you were late. Okay. Not late. absent. Oh, I got laid out, uh, let out early because it was fucking dead due to uh, the storms. <laughs> okay. Dude, it go. is raining. Harvey. It yeah. is Harvey. bad. Um, uh, so, you were discussing the Comey sub, right? Yes. So, it's just a sub. I, I was confused. I was kept thinking yeah, there it was is a no dub, dub issue, yet. but it's a there sub. Is no, there okay. is no dub. So, yeah, to, okay. to re-explain, um, there is text that is displayed in kanji or japanese script or whatever you call it yeah um that is not subtitled such as todd knows description of himself uh like the bio stuff and then the like main swelling moment of them writing on the chalkboard together where it's like they're both okay. writing there's like no music no dial or sorry there is music no dialogue or sound effects or anything and it just keeps showing different like bits of their conversation on the chalkboard but th that isn't subtitled Okay. Um, but fan subbers did it, so that's why people are making the comparison and making the complaint. Um, yeah, like like Gavin said, the important bits are like the main conversation is subtitled, but I can definitely see the complaint. Not like I can understand the complaint just because there is a lot there. Um, yeah, that is missed if you don't know the language. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if they'll, you know, do paint overs or write it in English for uh, for the dub. Yeah, watch the fan subs. That's what I keep seeing shared repeatedly in on Twitter and Facebook. Is just stick with the fan subs. I don't know. Fan subs can be very um, lacking in quality. True, but I mean, eh. Pick your poison, I guess, to be honest with you. Yeah, at the end hey, of the day, you can read the manga. You can also I mean, do that. Too. Some of them, some of the sub uh, fans' candulations can be bad as well. Because somebody will be like, you baka. And then in the subs, you'll be like, you dumb mother. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> it's a little aggressive. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but uh, um, I'm glad. I was able to come in because Amber shared something very fun with me. Is Hawakas in the chat? Yes. yes. Are you there, my guy? Okay. Yes, he is. Uh, she sent me a, a snap of her chat last night after we all got off call and went to bed. And um, along the lines of she, she, they, they thanking her for, for streaming, and um, Hawakas exclaimed that uh, she it was better than Mike. Her stream oh. was better than oh. better than Mike. Hawakus, you betray me. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, wanted to throw me, that out there for you, my Mike, good sir. Give you a nice little ego boost. <laughs> Why are you snitching? <laughs> <laughs> I got a good hearty laugh out of that shit. Uh, I mean, it's I could have like, went and probably watched the replay. <laughs> If I really oh, wanted yeah. to to see, um, or oh, you yeah. probably don't. It's there. Oh no! Actually, never mind. The chat would have been on the side. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, yeah. oh I uh, have to though, Amber. He, he, it's 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 understood. But yes, Hawaii is anime. our number one shill. I have to include <laughs> him when he includes himself with such easily like used ammunition. <laughs> We love you too, Huakas. <laughs> it's because he it's lost because five he lost K points. points. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh boy. So, um, also on the Netflix note, uh, we all see that Cowboy Bebop live action teaser thing. Yes. Dude, if the show yeah. is like that for the whole dang yes. thing, yes. Yo, I'll man. hate it. I'll hate it. That's too much for the too, whole thing. Uh, too loud. If they do three to four minutes of that in episode i'm in i got you if they do it a 10 minute sequence every three episodes i'm in if it's that for 
40 minutes and nine episodes too much it's too much yeah no i think that was just them flexing the editing muscles to showcase i think what, so as well yeah this is the kind of thing you'll see every once in a while to add flair yeah. throughout the season and i am one trillion percent okay with that like my thought is maybe a little less than the same level but close ish to like what they did in scott pilgrim where it's like you know normal 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 then they go balls to the walls for five minutes and then back to normal, 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 you know? Yeah. Which I'm fine with. That's, I, I that's what see, I got from yeah, I that. I can see some very fun sequences. I mean, let's face it. The original Bebop had some very fun transition sequences and editing. So if they just kind of map it out to be a little bit like that and just have fun. with it, Again, if they're having fun with it, if it's not OD and they're just using it as like hype moments, that'd be dope. Because let's also, let's face it. I, what I got out of that was that the people editing this series, they had to be AMV makers. Like that, it, it looks very um, AMV ish. Uh, that looks very mid mid to late two thousands AMV flow to me. That would be interesting. But like the action editors finally learned how After Effects worked and got professional. Like that's exactly <laughs> what it looks like to me. It's like they put away the action shakes and picked up the motion blur. Like, here we go. <laughs> but yeah, um, that comes out in like a week or two, right? Yep. Oh boy, Bebop. Netflix. I look forward to uh, watching it for sure. Uh, November 19th, so like a little less than a month. In fact, I think that was the exact same day <laughs> as Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ralph, fucking Ralph, hell. Ralph was on stream yesterday. He's like, oh man, next year we're playing Battlefield. It's like, it's coming out next. It's so close. We're like, November 19th. It's like a month away, man. Like Mario Party comes out next Instant Thursday. <laughs> I, I am so ready for Battlefield. Speaking of which, I'm assuming you guys are getting Mario Party. Uh, you guys. It's DA Switch, basically. <laughs> DA, you're getting Mario yeah, Party. Yeah, but probably. Uh, okay. Probably. Probably. Okay. I was thinking next weekend it would be something we could play. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'm It'd have to be things post to play. whatever stream we do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll learn of things to play. BG, did you uh, go back and watch the last night's gaming session yet? or anything No, yet? I have not. Oh, when, okay. when it's Sunday, it is football. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to just, uh, again, point out something. I forgot who it was who said it in the chat. But it might have been Triton. Um, one of the quotes of the night was that it looks like trading out BG was the right call. No, trading out anybody would have been the right call because <clears throat> Brett elevated the team so and hard. Who's the man that walked in front of 37 pigeons? <laughs> it wasn't the boy. It wasn't <laughs> the kid. So don't hit me with this garbage. Still happened. I mean, the chat seems to believe that, you know, Trading you out was the right call. So, you know what I mean? That's just the chat. That's not me. It's not us. Believe the trading out was the right call. No refutation. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't refute it at all. He, the man, this man literally said, uh, Mike said, hey, watch out for the birds. Because me and Amber were close to the birds. And, and Rob was like, I'm not the person that you got to tell that to. 14 seconds later. It's on stream too. I, I watched him. Walk into the bird. So it is... Walk straight into them. <laughs> so don't hit me with this hot garbage. Swapping anybody would have elevated the team. Uh, also on the note, speaking of streams and stuff, uh, it was this week, right? Am I? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I was just trying, like, dude. This, I feel like this week took forever for whatever reason. Uh, Sora came out this week. Right? Or is it Maybe last there week? was just so much stuff that happened. Um, it was the 18th. Yeah, it was the 18th. Okay, yes, it was this week. Holy crap. So, yeah, we, we played him with uh, uh, DA and I, and then we uh, invited people in from the chat and the Discord to play around. Um, I am not good with him at all. I kind of got curb stomped. <laughs> I, I would like to issue a formal apology his down air sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it gets eaten alive. It gets beaten by everything. Like, the only thing it's by good for. everything. Like, 
it is good for the thing that it does, which is off stage. If you get the person off stage, you use it directly off of ledge, and it's good. <clears throat> but for anything else, it sucks, Dookie. <laughs> yep. And I was defending it for so long. And yes, you so were. Hard. And I'm like, as I'm playing, because most of the fun of playing with Sora and any new character really is seeing the matchups. Mm -hmm. Like, ooh, Muff and Gaming Watch. How is this gonna go? That's that's a lot of the fun, and it the, just gets destroyed. Game and Watch, the other Keyblade Master in the roster. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, yeah I'm uh, getting there with Sora. I'm not. There's still some things that I I need to get into Sora brain. <clears throat> there's there there's some as as the uh, the lab the lab the lab people do. Um, there's a lot of interesting shit <clears throat> that's been figured out with him. A lot. Where <clears throat> if you uh, if you get the right uh, combos and stuff and the combo strings, you can just kill people at like sixty off the top. Yep, easy. <clears throat> like the there's a tech in uh, Ultimate called instant double jumping. That uh, for Sora, <clears throat> if you want to be like top level with him, is necessary. Um, just because for short hopping, there's a like I forget how many frames, but there, there's a buffer basically to where you can <clears throat> input jump short hop and then the move will come out. It actually buffers for like four or so frames. Um, but with instant double jumping, where you basically immediately double jump off of ground, there is no uh, input lag. So you can do aerials instantly from <clears throat> from uh, from the ground. And there's a lot of jank that Sora can do <laughs> with instant double jumping. To where you can basically infinite or stun lock people with doing, like, delayed three-hit combos. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a lot of, like... And it's, just, it, I mean, it's week one. People are still figuring stuff out with him. I'm, I'm excited. Like, I don't know if he's going to be top tier. Just because him, if you get him in disadvantage, it's a problem because he is so damn floaty. And as now, completely established, that down air sucks. Um, <clears throat> so he gets juggled pretty easily. But his advantage state is bonkers because as soon as he gets someone off stage, you're... You're fucked. <laughs> you can't do shit. But um, but yes, uh, I am <clears throat> liking him so far. I, I still need to actually like put in some major time just because I've been playing Judgment basically <laughs> all the time right now. But yeah, Sora's fun. Sora's very fun. A whole lot of fun. <clears throat> all right, what else do we got here? Um. Let's. I guess we'll just get into some of the sad news. Um, one, um, a very a favorite voice actor of many of us, uh, unfortunately, passed away this past week. Um, Chris Ayers. Uh, those of you probably would recognize him most as the voice of Frieza in the recent Dragon Ball stuff. Um, super. Uh, the re uh, Kai Dragon Ball Z Kai <clears throat> he, re he uh, took over the role of Frieza as well as uh, most recent stuff. Um, I don't know what disease he had, but I know it's been affecting his lungs for like, like five years now. It's been a while. Yeah, um, it's been quite a while. And uh, just, I think he was potentially waiting for a donor, but just none ever come came that was compatible, and he uh, passed away amongst family, friends, uh, his girlfriend over the week and there's just been an outpouring of mourning support friendship um he just like <clears throat> he definitely had it had an overall positive vibe but it's, it's interesting seeing like like how much of a positive impact that one person can have on people um just where you just see all these different voice actors that are just like he would brighten a room. He was always there for support. Uh, the one that I actually like really touched me was uh, Damon Mills, the guy who is more than likely now going to fully take over the role of Frieza. Um, and how just like he was super supportive, helped him through some stuff. Um, and they had a very, very, a very strong friendship grew out of basically him taking over for Frieza. Um, and yeah. It sucks. 
It really sucks. He he was a yeah. really cool guy. It, and it sucks because it was one of those things where he got better and then he got worse, then he got better, then he got worse. So nobody ever really knew exactly where he was. Mm-hmm. So at all, at all times, you know, I follow him on Twitter. I follow his um, girlfriend on Twitter. I've always kept an eye on it. Just like, is he doing all right? Because he had to go fund me. I, I, I um, donated a couple times because I'm like, really like you. He's... Uh, I've met him exactly one time, and it, like everybody says, one of the nicest dudes. <laughs> so yeah, that you, that just were you at of, the panel that I was at where he went through all the Frieza yeah where he voices. demonstrated the freeze of voices yeah. yeah just I yeah I asked that question I forgot about that I asked the question um because it was there was a couple people on there that had like that played characters in various different forms and I was just like curious about like the things. And he just goes into this long diatribe. He's just like, I actually can do all the voices. And he just immediately goes, Freezer first form is here. Freezer second form is here. Freezer third form is here. Like, he just goes through all of them. Boom, 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 boom. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> it was kind of nuts. But uh, in order to have more range, I know, for the third form Frieza, they actually just pitched his voice down just so he could act and you know, act emote and more. And do it. Yeah. Um... But yeah, just seemed like a very, very, very nice guy, very jovial. Um, yeah, um, rest in peace, man. The other thing that happened um, <clears throat> is uh, a very, very, very unfortunate accident. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, at the current moment, accident. So. Uh, I would call it more an incident. In, yeah, that's a good word. A terrible or incompetence. Probably. Yeah, unfortunate uh, competence. Yeah. Incompetence. But um, so on the set of a movie, uh, a Western movie, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, Alec Baldwin um, was given a prop gun to use in a scene um, and where he was basically facing the cameras and firing the weapon. Um, turns out that that prop gun was loaded with live ammo, and he shot twice, he uh, grazed the director of the movie, and unfortunately fatally shot the cinematographer, Helena Hutchins. Um, they rushed to the hospital, but she ended up succumbing from the gunshot wound. Um, and this is kind of nuts, um, what is the purpose for having live ammunition on the set? What, from what I understand, there is none. They, it, yeah. it shouldn't even have been a real live gun. With and it's it's ammo. happened like this before, where somebody died because ammunition was real. Yes, it was Bruce Lee's son, crow. and it was the crow. Um, and from so, that, there there have been very 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 strict safety measures that have been put onto sets that use prop guns, um, which yeah. really are real guns, but the ammunition is supposed to be blanks. Like, it's not supposed to they be... They function like a real gun. They function like a real gun. If you if you put bullets in them, as is shown, they will fire like a real gun, um, which makes them a real gun, really. Um, but the ammunition is supposed to be... It's not supposed to have an actual bullet. It's just supposed to be, you know, a canister that explodes and nothing comes out. However, <clears throat> something happened as the, you know... As we were saying, an incident occurred where live ammo somehow got on set, was somehow put into the prop gun, and was somehow handed to Alec Alec Baldwin. Um, I don't know how. Like, I can't imagine what he's feeling. Because yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Because you're just staring down the barrel of a gun, you fire, and then someone's just dead from your hand, like yeah. literally from your hand. Like, just he was acting in a scene, like just in that moment. And just, yeah, like, he pulled the trigger. <laughs> and so, I yeah, I he put out a very heartfelt apology um, on, on social media. I'm assuming he's just in constant contact with the family at this point of Helena Hutchins. Um, oh, more than likely. Yeah, just completely bonkers. Um, I'm, we're going to learn more, obviously, as this comes out, because <laughs> this is going to be super investigated as to why the hell there was live ammo on that set. Um and I'm assuming for, like, it had to be pretty damn specific ammo, because I'm assuming that's, you know, if they're doing a Western, that's like a revolver, right? More than likely. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of it's nuts. Um, so, yeah, uh, 
we'll obviously hear more about that but just are we is it possible somebody i don't like I, like we, I, and... like you know you, you go into your conspiracy brain at that point where it's yeah. just like was it like someone was trying to kill someone behind the camera like yeah like again we'll learn more as they investigate it but that's somebody that, like, trying to hurt alec ball the, ch the chances here are probably more along the lines that the wrong firearm was tagged with the wrong like id but again it's real what is the purpose of having real bullets that's the problem there yeah it's it's, it's not the gun it's the it's the ammunition yeah again it so, could have been tagged incorrectly like it but might why have... would they even be even if they're even if you say they're tagged incorrectly why would what is the purpose of that why would live bullets oh, be agreed. on the set agreed again it could have been again the ammunition could have been mistagged because again it's such a freak accident it happens once every blue fucking moon like the only thing i could think of that isn't of malicious background malicious intent let's put it is that somebody mislabeled blanks for lives and i mean lives is blanks like that's it because let's face it the rounds pretty much do look the same there it's a gunpowder based round that when fired it just doesn't do anything it could have just been mislabeled misshipped I and mean, let's face it people i would it, i would take a misshipping yeah that's what i'm trying to say Mislabeling. What I'm gonna say, mislabeling is misshipping. I'm saying that somewhere along the shipment process, when these things were bought, see that makes a lot shipped. more sense. Yeah, when this stuff was bought, ordered, and shipped, a the wrong label was put on it. I see it all the time at work, legitimately all the fucking time, where one label is put on one box, and if it happens in one industry, it can happen in any industry. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's probably just one of those really unfortunate occurrences. I mean, my hope is that it wasn't malicious because if so, it's almost diabolic at that point. It, it, it's like the only thing I can think of, again, for non-malicious intent was that whatever company they bought from simply mislabeled what they sent. My only thing would be, why is the same company that's making fake bullets making real bullets? Because it's the same process. They're, they're, you're just stopping at one step. No, I'm saying, but Hollywood knows that they need bullets. Why wouldn't there just be like a... Only fake bullets. Yeah, because we got, you know, uh, video... Uh, uh, we got uh, costs. visual effects artists. We got studios for visual effects that they outsource all this other stuff. Why wouldn't there just be like a... Hey, I own Miramax. This is, so this is a prop company only. This isn't... So they make prop retractable knives as well and stuff like that. When it comes to things like that, the, again, the only thing I can think of, again, this is all hearsay, obviously, is that lowest common bidder. I mean, lowest common bidder. Uh, lowest, pot, lowest bidder with the business. So the company they went with probably said, hey, we'll supply you with this dead, dead round ammunition for 13 cents a round. Outbidding someone who may have charged 28 cents a round that was specializing in fake and um, dummy rounds. That, that kind of stuff and stuff does happen all the time as well. We don't know who was bought, what was bought from who, what the shipment process was, and we probably never will. They probably never will say anything. Who, they, they may never actually come out and say exactly what happened despite the investigation because they, they might not want to um, make the company that made it an accident seem like the bad guy. Accidents happen. It's unfortunate. Sure. But again, the risk you run when you buy from said companies, but that's never going to stop the business behemoth that is capitalism. The lowest common bidder is going to get the business. So, well, we're not in the room where it happened, as they say, so we'll never probably actually know the finer details. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, either way, immensely tragic. Blah, tragic. Oh, incredibly unfortunate. Yeah. Um, which is, it's, it, 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 one of the, um, uh, stunts, stunt guys I follow on Twitter, uh, actually came out and said that there, that there's some, there's some, uh, production companies that don't use real handguns, even with dummy rounds. They put everything in post, like they pay extra for post, um, digital workings to make it look like a real gun going off. Mm -hmm. Not everyone does it, but it's cheaper to go that way with like, you know, they're actually firing around. All they, got, all they have to add is the impact as it were. Mm -hmm. 
So it's one of those things where, again, it's just like, it, it just sucks because there's other options available, but it's just also not utilized. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. So oh, yes, that, that was the... Oh, <laughs> our bits of sad news over the course of this past week. Um, I don't have much Oh, uh, there was also one other death recently. Uh, the actor that played Gunther in... Yeah. Right. Mm. He passed. Uh, nowhere. 56? I always thought he was a lot older than he was because yeah. of the white hair. But, you know, I had a, a teacher that was like 33 and she had like a rogue thing where it was just like streaks of white in her hair. I mean, you know Kelly. Kelly is literally full white. She has to dye her hair. You realize that, right? And she's younger than us. Genetics, all this other stuff. But I can't even say genetics because I, I don't have gray yet. And DA is just like sprouting all over the place. My mom. Yeah, had gray. I, I've seen it. My mom had gray hair at 19. Yeah, it can just happen. The human body. So, uh, James up Michael thing. Tyler is the actor's what name. What the? F oh, you you've never actually seen my beard or my hair? Wait a second. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any gray. Wait at a all. second. Why are you not a spank? No, I don't have any gray at all. My first gray hairs didn't start coming it's in until the last year. Black as midnight. <laughs> She's dead. Hey, wait a second. Yeah, I don't have anything. Wow. <laughs> I don't have them at the temples or. Yeah, I I, I got the uh, the Doctor Strange sides going on right now. Oh God, that's about it. You don't look more distinguished. Trust me. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even. <laughs> that thought never <laughs> crossed my mind. <laughs> you're gonna. You're not gonna be sexy nerd with a Zelda shirt and a fucking robe on. <laughs> I mean, we've already seen him with Hitler. It looks like with a mustache. It's not flattering. Oh, boy, that Hitler stash, you boy. Leave him alone. Don't ever rock that 80s porn stash again. You're it's not Burt Reynolds. Leave him alone. Never again. I mean, November's ahead. coming up. I don't give a sh what's coming up. Don't do it. Uh, well, too bad. <laughs> you should definitely show that picture to people <clears throat> on the stream because mine got. I mean, Look in the Discord chat. Yeah, my Discord. It's, my uh, uh oh oh oh, homie, it's bad. Oh homie, you're going full gray. It's <laughs> real bad. What is that long ass singular I hair don't you got rocking? <laughs> I don't know. That's some Grinch level shit, dude. The fuck those is are happening. <laughs> like, so you have that. Like, do you guys just ever find like just some random ass long hair anywhere? Oh, all the time. Oh, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. There's just a couple that like are on my Luckily, nose. Most of mine fall uh, apart in your no in your in uh tub. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um But I get I have these ones that are on my in my like the sides of my nose. And just like every like two to three weeks, like, you know, you'll like look somewhere and like the light will just hit it just right and then I'll see it in like <laughs> just in the periphery of vision. And then I like can't not see it and it bugs the shit out of me until I can grab it. <laughs> Very odd. No, I have a uh, I have uh some of my mustache hairs get really long to the point where it'll either go into my mouth or tickle my nose. <laughs> just the ones on the side. So me. yeah, that sh is ugly. Yeah, there's there's like just a couple here and there, like I'll find on my arm where it's just like, oh wow. Look at you. This is unbelievable. Oh, you do. I, I, I'm, I'm shocked you never realized this. This is not fair. <laughs> That's why I was like, you know, DA's younger than me and his is coming in. So I'm like, when is mine going to start? Because I'll be, uh, yeah, just when I was 21, I, I, I'll be, uh, <laughs> taking a shower or something. I'll hop out and the light will hit it. I'll be like, oh, I guess I'm starting to get gray. And then I realize, no, it's just the way the light's hitting it. <laughs> I think it's like the like all the stress you put on yourself for autographs, characters that I, you want <laughs> in games. But but what about BG when he's on stage and in front of in hundreds of people and Twitch and all this stuff and he's playing and what about that stress? Yeah, fighting game community stuff. I don't know. 
I like just watching BG with stress. He kind of has that shit under control for the most part, or at least he doesn't show Ooh. it as much. You, so. bruh, I'll tell you this story. Uh, me, Brittany, and I think V went down to Kit one time, and it was like one of Brittany's first <clears> tournaments. <throat> He's like, oh my god, I'm so nervous about to play. I went, please, stuck my hand out like it was gonna be rock steady. Much was going, <laughs> like I had tremors, and I went, holy! Shit. I didn't realize just how nervous I was. I think I masked it behind a lot of smiling and stuff and jokes, but I do nerve. I had to the first like three years of my uh, competitiveness, I had to put on headphones and listen to music. I couldn't listen to the crowd at all. Okay. Now I'm just like I just I just basking on. So yeah, it's been there. You you I feel like the cold sweat on my arm when I'm going up on stage, and it'd be like, all right, I'm like two matches away. Here it comes. Everybody's gonna see my <laughs> fraudulence. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, it, the stress thing don't matter Dude, whatsoever. It was big. I was big stressing. Out. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain. It. Like, I I haven't seen anything from BG like you when an autograph week goes wrong. True. But that's not stress. That's more frustration. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that builds on the stress, my dude. <laughs> no, not necessarily. You're, you're taking years it's, it's off like, your life. <laughs> no, I'm just sitting there going, this can be run better by this, this, and this. If you don't... That, that is a gross oversimplification ooh, ooh. of how you act. <laughs> Dude, you you shut down. Yes, from frustration. You implode. Yes, from frustration. Yeah, yeah, I honestly do not believe this because I have severe at times severe social anxiety. I think hate being around people sometimes Despite to the point it. I'll walk into a room before I even walk into the room. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm I'm so nervous. Based off what I know, all these people, I just do not like being around people sometimes. Just so f and nervous. I have very bad social anxiety okay. um, at times. So I don't think it's nerves. So I'm on stage, bad social anxiety, stresses of the daily. Sh I'm learning this encoding bush. <laughs> this is 1600 hours I gotta put in. Okay. I was trying to. I was trying to. There's think, no think of explanation, and There's it's nothing. not even like. And it's, uh, we got the same muff in Mama and Daddy. It's not even like that, where it's just like uh, different font. No, one trillion percent the same genetic. And born like nine, ten months apart. It, it, it ain't it. All right. There's no answer other than <laughs> bullshit. Other than it's not fair. Bullshit. Now here. here be, me and BG, we would make the perfect person combined. Dude. Cause I got the height, but you got perfect teeth. You you got the dark the dark beard. I got the thin gray. Gray. <laughs> it's like I have the ideas. You have the uh, execution. execution. It's so what crazy. I'm thing here crazy. is that you guys are a fusion dance away from the perfect beat. From the perfect beat. We will rule the world. Or at least be the most funny, smart, driven bastard ever. <clears throat> no Here's one can be here in debates. Let's go. And I'm sitting there just like, can I make this table? Let's see if I can. And then I do. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's well, legitimately shit. insane. All right. I have last uh, three last things of news. Uh, tiny things. Um... Hayden Christensen is going to be reprising his role as Anakin Skywalker slash Vader in the Ahsoka Disney show. I feel like to know one's prize. Um, hey, he's getting work. <laughs> Outside of um, the excitement of seeing a dude from the past, are people excited because his his acting was generally panned? But it was more like he was. I cannot young. stop staring at your beard. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, one of the big things is that George Lucas is notoriously a bad director of actors, so there is that. Um, also, George he's, Lucas is one of the luckiest men I've ever seen. Oh, he 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 is an idea man, and his idea man his his idea led to billions. <laughs> um, 
But uh, he's going to be in the suit for most of it. So I don't like yeah. he's How got a lot it? going for him <laughs> in this. Yeah, uh, James Earl Jones jo- Jones Jones voice or probably is he just gonna buy maybe uh when the mask is on he'll have <laughs> they candy. need to get whatever they can out of that man he is an older gentleman yes, yes he is I it's... saw the commercials or the trailers for uh coming to America too I'm just like you are so old <laughs> the same thing with the Lion King versus like oh <laughs> Oh, yeah. It was 30 years between these two movies. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, that man, 90. Yes, he is. Yes, he Oh, is. that's like that uh, Peter Thomas stuff where it's just like Peter Thomas survived so he was like 96 <laughs> voice acting. And mm-hmm. then it was just like, dang, there he goes. Um, The character formerly known as McCree has now officially been renamed. Whoops. Um, Whoops. Bro. Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> from Overwatch. He's now known as Cole Cassidy. Um, they even baked this... in like the reason like why he hid his name up like around the apology, <laughs> basically, of like needing to be better <laughs> and all this stuff. It's just like, alright, that's like a step too far. You could have just renamed him and called it a day. Yeah, but, uh... Uh, this might be one of the biggest gaffes I've ever Legitimately. seen. Cause it is just once you see that man's Wikipedia, it's like, what what whoa. Well, did you guys not know? Was the first cho- choice Cole Epstein? And they were like, yeah, nah. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah. That happened. Um and the last thing I have is we have the first trailer for the Uncharted movie. Yeah, uh, thoughts? You guess you guys have all seen it, right? Nope. Yep. Oh, I actually yeah, okay. liked it. Okay. I think it, I think it looks pretty good. I think I in, actually untra- didn't like it. You didn't, and didn't I like don't it? think it's going to be okay. Okay. Uh, for me, just in general, Uncharted lends itself to being a movie just because the game kind of is a movie. <laughs> Just how it's all the games, really, um, and as far as their like how it's structured and what have you. <clears throat> um, they threw a lot of stuff from all the different games into it, which like that's kind of a negative. But I think just in terms of how it looks, um, I think Tom Holland seems to be doing a good job. Looks like he's going to do a good job in the role. Um, casting seems not enough. Good. Bes- not besides, enough besides, um, I just don't like uh, Sully. What's his face? I can't think of the actor. Mark Wahlberg. Name. Yeah, I don't like him as Sully. Yeah, that was an interesting cast choice. Drake doesn't have enough swagger. Tom Holland as Drake, you mean? Yes. Okay. And that's like numero uno. I don't know. Like, we get we get a tiny bit in the trailer. I know Tom Holland can be funny. Um, and that's like yeah, the whole he thing be is funny. Drake, he can Drake be charismatic, is charismatic, but the the thing swagger is not there. We might get that it's like uh, it's like somebody playing Vince McMahon and not doing his walk. <laughs> like you've got the voice, you got the look, but you don't got the mannerisms right. So I can see what you're saying. Well, I mean that's all we've seen from the trailer. We'll have to see from the movie if it's actually like. <laughs> They're not so. Did yeah, you see okay. Ralph? You keep you keep hope alive, Ralph. What did you think? Yeah, he saw it. Yeah, I, my thought was that it's pretty much like a middle ground between you both. I both liked it and didn't at the same time. I feel like again they crammed too much from the games into it, possibly from what I'm seeing. If they were gonna cast Personally. Tom, if they were gonna cast Tom Holland in the role, it should have been more of an original, like story i feel like i i you could have used some cool um i don't know like set pieces from the games as like like backdrops like for set to set up later like just subtle things i'm not a huge fan of the overt shit like the airplane scene kind of was just like okay no i don't i'm not about it like that kind of threw me was like okay that's a little bit too much but i like tom holland's acting i feel like he may be able to pull this off i'm hopeful 
that this is from the, like, the angle of, it's an, again, it's, it is an origin story, quote unquote, and they play it off as such, but I'm reserving final judgment. I'm not willing to say I liked it or didn't like it until I actually see the movie, because I think it has the possibility to be good and surprise us, but I, I'm, I'm literally dead center on this one. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, I had a thought and it, I just lost it. <clears throat> yeah, we sh- we shall see. I think it's coming like mid next year. I for- kind of forget the release date. But... Dude, what are, what are they doing with like February to April in terms of games? <laughs> uh, They're killing stuffing people. it to the brim. <laughs> the problem yeah. is. These are all games that most likely would have come out around this time. Yep. The uh, September to November area that got pushed back because of things like COVID. And now they're just all coming out in that February to April area. And it is legitimately impossible to get all those games all right, so and I play just, through them and enjoy them. I just pulled out right now. Wikipedia mostly has uh, January through March. There's a few for later on, but uh, notable things. Um, January 14th, they are porting God of War to Windows. I know PC people are going to be happy about that. Um, what ifs? Poke- Pokemon Legends uh, Arceus is coming out on the 28th. What ifs? <laughs> uh, uh, Pokemon people are going to eat that up. Let's be real here. <laughs> Pokemon people eat everything up. Sure. That's not. That's hey, nothing. That's like Game... saying Dragon Ball people are gonna eat some up. G- GameStop has a shiny flock Lucan on the thirteenth through the twelfth. That's not a Pokemon. That's, name. that's like <laughs> negative days, sir. Sir, it's. A I beef- don't know. Sir, it's a shiny beefalo that's going to be there. Get it right. Oh God. <sighs> Yummy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dying Light Two Stay Human comes out uh, February fourth. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 9. <laughs> so many Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West comes out February 18th. Sifu, Dumb. February 22nd. Uh, da, 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 uh, Altier, Sophie 2, 25th. Oh. Elden Ring, the 25th. Saints Row, the 25th of February. Um, <clears throat> Saints Row? What are they? Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of other things. Nothing that. Uh, uh, the rest, most of the rest of it's TBA in February, uh, in March. Gran Turismo Four, Triangle Strategy, which is the uh, Octopath, uh, same company People. made Octopath, their strategy game. Um, Strangers of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin comes out March eighteenth. Uh, wait, is that okay? It's just the <clears throat> name is in Japanese. The Shin Megami Tensei, I think. That seems right. Is that right? Benito, keep going. No, 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 it's not. Okay, different game. Um, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, March 25th. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, it's online stuff coming. Grand Theft Auto V coming to next-gen consoles. Marvel's Midnight Suns and WWE 2K22. That's TBA March. April, they have Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl on the 28th. Um, that's basically it. Until we get more solid dates. It's yeah. ugly. Yeah, yeah. Design release date. Like, uh, let's see. Can I sort by Q1, Q2 here? Uh, don't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> move on. People Mike. can look up the list themselves. Yeah, move on, Mike. Yeah. I mean, that's this is this is the last thing. <laughs> I'm well, just then we're good. All right. Oh my God! Sonic the Hedgehog two movie comes out April. Shit. Yes, it does. <laughs> Yeah, who's going to see that? Oh, you know what? We might be good roughly around there. Uh, April? Maybe. My, my, my God, I, I should hope. You know what? Oh, no, that's right. Post holidays. Because uh-huh. Christmas is going to destroy people. Yeah. Thanksgiving is going to destroy people. April? What? Because uh, we're still going to be dealing with the aftermath of it. <clears throat> okay. I, th- I think, I think it, we might be on a solid downturn. No, because that's my point. Around February, January to like March, it's gonna be a lot of up numbers. I'd have to look at. We actually have two years of data now. <laughs> Un- Sad- unbelievable. Sadly. Um. All right. Fact man, let's wrap up this podcast. Twenty-five facts about programming. 
Oh. Hey. Four. Everybody pick a number. Uh, one, because you know binary zeros and ones. Ha ha ha. Two. One, two, four. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin says seven. Wow, Triton says seven. Or oh, Jet says seven. Number one. Number one it is. Yes. A computer programmer hired a woman at $8 an hour to slap him in the face every time he tried checking his Facebook during working hours. So that's what my problem has been all this time. <laughs> yep. Anytime I go and check on Twitter, I just need someone there standing next to me to just cock back and <laughs> slap me in How the face. How much of a problem is Facebook? It's gotta be. <laughs> but is it so uh, problematic that it's detrimental to your work? Like, are you Apparently doing so. unbelievably <laughs> subpar work to the point where you go, I work eight hours a day. I'm going to pay a woman, what's that, uh, $56 a day to slap me if I go check Facebook? But yep. Facebook can lead it down to the, into other holes. You can okay. see something and just go, oh, look at this cooking thing. Hey, when were Kiwis invented? And then you got to go over <laughs> to Wikipedia and that just leads to a whole hole. And then after a while, it's an hour and you done did nothing. Slap. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> depending on uh, what you do for uh, programming and the employment, uh, some employers are just like, I don't care how long it took you to do your work or the process you did it as long as it was done. So there are some people that'll do eight hours of work and six hours and take a nap at some point. So, but there's also people that take pride in their work. Yes. They no. like, yo, I'm spending too much time on this crap, but it's you a need difference to kick between, your addiction. It's difference between taking pride in your work and working more as you feel you should be working more. Because this person that did six hours did what they should have done, finished it uh, performance-wise or whatever. They did, they're hitting all the metrics. What's the problem? But what if he isn't? Okay, that's the thing. But if he's, if he's going, I hit all the metrics in six hours, but I need to keep working because I'm on the clock. Let me work another two hours. But I'm not doing the two hours, so I need to get slapped. That's the sh I'm like, no, check your Facebook. <laughs> Interesting. 56 Let's wrap so up. so 56 bucks times mm -hmm. 5 okay. which would be 25 30 280 roughly. Yeah. Probably under the table, so no taxes on that. Yeah. <laughs> so 280 <laughs> that would be 560. So that would be 1120. 1120 a month. Hey, that ain't bad. Just so ma'am, you, 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 ma you say this income is, uh, your profession is motivator? <laughs> Why, yes. It could be sad as that. Physical, Physical motivation. Physical motivator. <laughs> ma'am, are you a dominatrix? <laughs> Maybe. I think that might be the easier answer to just like, yeah, yes, I am. Because who wants to say, I get paid to slap a coder when he stops looking at his fucking job. That I'd, sounds fake. I'd yeah. love to come that up. That sounds like I'd you love deal drugs. to meet my girlfriend's parents and they're like, what do you do? Oh, I slap a dude every time he looks at Facebook. <laughs> do you know how much I would love to say that? <laughs> that would be What are you pretty, talking about? That'd, that'd be, be pretty amazing. amazing. The question would be like, is there a future in this industry? Uh, Who's to say, possibly? sir? There's a present. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe it's an maybe it's an intern that's unpaid anyway. No, eight dollars an hour. Eight bucks. <laughs> wow. All right. <clears throat> With that, <laughs> thank We're you everybody for tuning in to this episode of the podcast of stuff. Ralph, are we seeing you next week? Yes, we are. Oh, uh -huh -huh, there we go. Full cast. Maybe all on time. We shall see. Dude, it's funny how you hate. Uh, oh. <laughs> He he posted that earlier in in here. He redeemed a highlighted message. Da, it's funny, funny how, how you hate, hate Jalal because he's so self sacrificing, and love Aqua because she's so self sacrificing. That's not DA the only respond. reason why I hate Jalal. All right, please end the uh, cast. Thank you for the message, right? <laughs> Thank, you Thank you for redeeming your point. And that's not the only reason why I like Aqua. 
Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This episode. Story. Find out next week on the uh, podcast of stuff. We'll see you next not- week. <laughs> Later.